Hey guys, welcome back to a whole new session from Edureka. My name is Vajiha, and in this session, you'll be learning how to use the Python Spider IDE. Before we begin, just make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest Edureka videos. Coming back towards this session, we shall first begin with a small introduction to Python and its features. Then, I'll be showing you all how to install this IDE, create new files and projects, and write the code. We'll also take a look at the components available in Spider, namely the Variable Explorer and the File Explorer. Finally, I'll be showing you all how to customize this IDE and use the Help menu. Okay, so without any further delays, let's move on towards the first topic, which is what exactly is Spider? Spider is an open source cross platform IDE that is written completely in Python and it's used for Python. This IDE is designed by scientists and it's exclusively for scientists, data analysts, and engineers. It is also known as the Scientific Python Development IDE and has a huge set of remarkable features which are discussed in the next topic. Some of the very important features of Spider include customizable syntax highlighting, availability of breakpoints, that is, debugging and the conditional breakpoints, interactive execution, which allows you to run the line, file, cell, etc. Run configurations are available for working directory selections, command line options, current or dedicated, external console, etc. It can also clear variables automatically or enter debugging. Navigation through cells, functions, blocks, etc. can be achieved through the Outline Explorer. Code introspection is the ability to examine what functions, keywords, and classes are, what they are doing, and what information they contain. Spider also has automatic colon insertion after the if, while, or for loops. It also supports all the IPython magic commands, inline display for graphics produced using matplotlib, and provides other features such as help, file explorer, find files, etc. Okay, so now that you have a brief idea about what is Spider and its features, let's move on and see how you can actually install this IDE. Spider comes as a default implementation along with the Anaconda Python distribution. This is not just a recommended method, but it's also the easiest one. To install Spider on your system, follow the steps that are shown on the screen. The first thing you'll have to do is go to the Anaconda website, click on the download option, and then choose the installer that's suitable for your OS. Once the download is done, complete the setup and click on Finish. After this, you can launch Spider from the Anaconda Navigator. To install Spider on your systems, follow the instructions that are shown on screen. The first thing you'll have to do is navigate to the official Anaconda website and click on the download option that's available over here. After this, choose the version that is suitable for your OS and click on download. You have three options over here, which is Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So in case you're using a Windows platform, click on Windows and then choose the Python version that you want to download. Once the installer is downloaded, you can see a dialog box for the setup. Complete the setup and click on Finish. Once this is done, you can launch Spider from the Anaconda Navigator. Open up the Anaconda Navigator. Once this is done, you can launch Spider from the Anaconda Navigator. Okay, so once you're done with the installation and have launched Spider, you can create new files and projects to write your code. To create a new file, all you have to do is click on the file option and choose the new file option. To create a new project, go to the project menu and click on new project. Give some name to your project and click on create. So as you can see, the moment I created a new project, it has opened up the project explorer. With the help of this component, you can switch easily between different projects that you've created. Okay, so now let's move on and see how you can actually write the code. Writing the code in Spider becomes very easy with its multi-language code editor and a number of powerful tools. As mentioned earlier, this editor has features such as syntax highlighting, real-time analysis of code, style analysis, on-demand completion, etc. When you write your code, you will also notice that it gives a clear call stack for the method suggesting all the arguments that can be used along with that method. Now, let's get back to Spider and see how this works. So for example, if I want to make use of the print method, the moment I type print, it gives a clear call stack of the arguments that can be passed to this method. So all I'm going to write within this print method is hello world. Not just this, in case you've made an error in any line, you'll be notified about it with a caution symbol before the line number and a message describing what the issue is. 
So in case I would have made a spelling mistake while using the print method, you can see that the line is prefixed by a caution symbol and when I navigate to it, it says undefined name print. Okay, so now if you want to run any file, all you have to do is go to the run menu present over here and choose run or else you can simply click on the run option that's available on the screen. The output of my code will be shown in the console over here. So as you can see, I wanted to print hello world and it's printed in the console. The Python spider IDE also provides other components such as the variable explorer and the file explorer. The variable explorer shows all the global objects references such as modules variables methods etc of the current IPython console. Not just this you can also interact with these using the various GUI based editors. Now to show you all what this actually means. Let me get back to spider. And here I'll just define a few variables. Say a B and C. After this I'm just going to run this file and click on the variable explorer option that's present over here. So as you can see this component shows all the names the type size and the values of all variables that are present in my code. The file explorer is basically a file system and a directory browser that allows you to browse open and perform other management tasks on files. You can make use of the context menu functions for operating with these files and folders. So now let me just show you all where exactly it's present. So as you can see the file explorer shows all the directories and files that are present. Okay, so now let's move on and see how you can actually configure this IDE. Spider can be configured conveniently using the options that are present in the preferences menu. You can change anything such as themes syntax colors font size etc. So to do this all you have to do is click on the tools menu and select preferences. Then from here you can choose any option and configure it according to your preferences. Once you're done just click on OK and you'll be able to see the changes. Finally let's take a look at the help menu. The help pane allows you to find and display documentation of any object you desire. When you click on the help menu you can see that it provides various options such as the spider documentation spider tutorial shortcuts etc. So in case you encounter any issues while using this IDE you can simply navigate to the help menu and resolve your issue easily. So with this we've reached the end of this session. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new in case you have any doubts or queries. Please do let me know in the comment section and I will revert to you at the earliest. Goodbye and take care. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!